So King's Barnes is the winner of the beautiful Fife Award and yeah it's off to a good start isn't it? In the old days, they had to go to ridiculous lengths to depopulate the brightest and best and the fittest of our people. Now, they just do it by a TV show <laughs> that you call the news. Malaysia's former Prime Minister, Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, said that the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPPA, is a new world order strategy by a powerful pact of people led by the U.S. to dominate the world economy. Speaking at the international conference titled New World Order, Recipe for Peace or War, organized by the Perdana Global Peace Foundation, Dr. Mahathir said globalization and borderless trade are being used to establish a one-world government. Basically, it is about having a world government. We should abolish all states, all nations, all borders, but instead have only one world government. And that world government is to be by certain people, elites, people who are very rich, very intelligent, very powerful in many ways. They are the ones who will govern the world. There was not much talk about democracy or choice of leaders. Instead, there was to be a government by these elites who will impose their rules on everyone in this world. And for those who are unwilling to submit to them, there will be punishment. And the peace that we will get from this is the peace of the graveyard because the intention also is to reduce the number of people in this world. Get your vaccination. Get it today. Today. At the time when the new world order was enunciated, the population of this world was only 3 billion. The intention was to reduce it to 1 billion. Now the population of the world is 7 billion. There will be a need to kill many billions of people or to starve them to death or to prevent them from giving birth in order to reduce the population. Yes, I'm willing to be banned for a week off YouTube for showing you that little clip. Last time I was this busy, trying to squeeze in as many different locations in a day, was when I was travelling with Campervan K. Work ethic was unbelievable. Yes, yes, it's the awesome... Oh, no. Death cult. Not only does Richard Hewitt believe with believe in that sentiment, but he also enjoys my little tours of pretty villages. A good start so far, King's Barnes. are those the eponymous King's Barnes? Could be. Look it up for yourself. Ah, that's it. Oh well, nice easy one. But no doubt, some smart Alec will write down in the comments 
for those who follow me, explaining exactly what I missed and why I should have done my own research, but I just haven't got the time, you know, this is a whistle stop tour. Like, if this is Wednesday, it must be every village in Fife. And tomorrow, I've got, uh, well, and the day after possibly, I've got a few people to meet in Dunfermline, so could be busy. Cheese and biscuits time. Oh yeah. Steve Bish. Watch and enjoy. Tell you what, I wish I could be going to Morecambe with uh, you and our kid Manchester van life, but but I am proper busy exploring Scotland proper busy like could be filming three videos every day now and that's how it's done well I'm assuming King's Barnes has a coast, so see what I can find. Oh, King's Barns, what a hidden gem you are. Oh, and there's all the campers who uh, who know what time it is. <laughs> the sort of people that are right in the comments what I've missed. Well, I got you this time. Well, I could stay the night here, and clearly many van lifers intend to do just that but well, all i've got time for is just a quick look at this beach at king's barns five and another crisp clear view up the angus coast you can see inland to the cairngorms as well Don't know if it comes across on camera, but that is the bluest sapphire blue sea. Yeah, cracking view. Silence on set, please. SLR moment. Look at all the fleas in this dead seaweed. Certain wading birds like to munch on. Mm -hmm. 